Welcome to season four of Dropping Gems After Show. On today's show, we have our guest, Shara Prophet, the Mind Magic Coach. She helps people break through success blocks using the power of their mind. She is the owner of Open Door Hypnosis LLC and was featured in Dark Girls 2 documentary, which aired on Oprah Winfrey Network. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss this episode. You are watching Dropping Gems After Show. Dropping Gems from Keisha Christian. She's on a mission. Sharing information. Knowledge for soul. Body and mind. Dropping Gems. KeishaGems.com Venice Richards, your pure romance consultant, inspires women to enhance their intimate lives and take care of their sexual health. Book your party today. Visit pureromance.com slash Venice Richards or call 631-943-943. One eight six eight for more information or to place an order. For sponsorship or advertising on this program, email info at keishachristian.com for more information. Hello, hello everyone, and I have to thank you, thank you Shara for coming on my show today. I am so excited to have you on. Thank you for having me today, Keisha. It's my pleasure. I, I'm so happy to be here. Yes. So, let's get started. I want you to tell the audience more about you. I gave them a background of the things that you're doing and the projects you've been involved in, but tell us more about you and um, what you do. Okay. I am a certified hypnotherapist. I'm a teacher, a speaker, an author, and a coach. So I, people call me the mind magic coach because I use hypnosis as my main modality to help people reach their goals and overcome challenges in their lives. And um, it's been, it's played a huge role in my own healing and in my life, you know, um, healing inner childhood wounds and things like that from past traumas, as well as helping me to reach goals that I thought I would never be able to reach. So I'm very passionate about this work. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm even more passionate about bringing it to communities that don't know a lot about it. So education is a huge, huge part of what I do because a lot of times, you know, hypnosis has this little, you know, thing about it, you know, it's kind of um, um, taboo and it's woo woo and people think it's, you know, witchcraft and things like that. And really it's science and it's a part of our, biological makeup is how we learn new information, you know, and we go in and out of hypnosis all the time. So I'm incredibly passionate about, you know, breaking those myths and educating people on how to understand their minds and how to get their minds to work on their behalf. Yes, definitely. So can you tell me what exactly is hypnosis? Because I know some people might look at it as some kind of hocus pocus sort of mm -hmm. thing, or you put someone in a trance and then you, you get them to do whatever you want them to do. And I know that's more Hollywood and TV, <laughs> what yeah. we've seen in the movie. So can you exactly go into what exactly is hypnosis and what is hypnotherapy? Yes. So all hypnosis is, is a focused state of awareness. It's a time where you, if you've ever been driving down the freeway and all of a sudden you kind of zone out and you miss your exit, right? Or you pull up in front of your house and you're like, oh, I don't even remember 
getting driving home, you know, you were in a state of hypnosis. So it was when you're focused on something and you kind of drop into that zone and your body is very relaxed, but your mind is still active and you can still hear and you can operate machinery. You can operate a vehicle, right? So it is the learning state. It is the state in which we've learned all of our behaviors. So from the time you're in your mother's womb until about eight years old, you're in a perpetual state of hypnosis. This is why they say a child's mind is like a sponge because it really is. And it's just when you're open and you're receptive to new information coming in, okay? So that is pretty much in a nutshell what hypnosis is. Now, hypnotherapy is a modality that assists people with utilizing the hypnotic state to help them clear out non-beneficial, unhealthy behaviors or thought patterns that keep them from reaching their goals or keep them stuck in a toxic cycle. And then you go in and you replace anything that you've removed, you replace it with positive suggestions. We call them affirmations, but we call, but in hypnotherapy, we call them suggestions okay. and they're positive, helping you form a new association to uh, a situation. So let's just say, for example, if you are a smoker mm -hmm. and whenever you get stressed out, you go smoke a cigarette, right? So instead of using that old behavior to cope with your stress, we clear that association of stress to smoking a cigarette equals relaxation, right? Then we say, okay, instead, I'm going to take three deep breaths and drink a glass of water. That's the healthy replacement. So now if stress uh, comes up, now you're going to take three deep breaths, take a sip of water, and that equals relaxation to you. So that's just kind of a, a really uh, cra a crash course in <laughs> how uh, I use hypnotherapy, but that it can be used across the board from fears, phobias, anxiety, stress management, um, overeating, habit control, weight loss is a huge one uh, mm -hmm. that people use it for. And my favorite is to help people break through emotional and mental blockages that keep them from stepping into their lives. You know, if they wanna start a business or they wanna travel and they just wanna, you know, start a whole new life and they're afraid to do that because of some program operating in the background that keeps them living, you know, in a safe, small life, we can use hypnosis to remove any blockages that keep them from living their best lives as well. Love that. I could just imagine how that would um, assist with those who have fear. So basically, you're having them to face their fear and um, conquer it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and acknowledging the fear and, and learning how to use the fear as fuel for them. You know, because it's the, what I like to say is whatever is whatever your paradigm is, whatever your program is, it's there to help push you to the other side. It really is, you know, and it's willing to sacrifice itself for your evolution and for your salvation, so to speak. And all we have to do is learn how to sit long enough, still enough to understand what those paradigms are the point of origin, where, it's, where it started, and then allow it to tell us how it wants to be removed because it's willing to move out of the way as soon as, we're, as soon as we bring awareness to it. Nice. Reprogramming the brain. That's what I'm hearing as you're speaking. It's yes. like we have these programs. We have a certain way that we do things in our yep. mind. And these are patterns a lot of times that began in childhood. So it's basically what you're doing is helping to change the pattern or to interrupt the pattern. Absolutely. And I'm glad you used that term because that's actually <laughs> a term that we use in the hypnotherapy community, uh, pattern interruptions. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're, you're, whenever you're getting ready to do an old behavior, I teach you how to stop that, how to, how to interrupt the pattern. And if you do that pattern interruption enough times, you start to form a new pattern. It's very simple, you know, and when I'm talking to a client, they're like, oh my God, that's all, 
how, do, how come I don't know that? I'm, I mean, even, you know, some of my clients are therapists. They are licensed psychotherapists and, and psychologists. And they're like, why don't I know this? You know, <laughs> like I can tell my clients, that, <laughs> but for some reason it doesn't translate in my own life. But that is also an indication that, no, because I have coaches, I have, I have a hypnotherapist too. So that's just an indication. It doesn't matter how much we know. Mm. We always need a little bit of uh, help, you know, to help us get through our own stuff too. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So true. I just love what you're doing. Um, can you go into um, share a success story in particular around um, how you use hypnosis or um, hypnotherapy with your um, clients? Yes, absolutely. Um, I was working with a client who was having some issues at their work, at their place of work. And it was really, really a serious issue. You know, it was, you know, lawyers were involved and, and, and it was just kind of like everything was coming down on, on this client's head who actually loved what they did. And um, in, the, in the process of all of this stuff happening, they were dismissed from work for a while. And so that kind of interrupted their income while they were in the process of getting ready to close on their dream home. Mm. And um, so when we were working together, you know, my client was very, very, you know, in a depressive state, honestly, because there was just so much happening and coming down on them at this time. And what we did was we used a series of tapping which is EFT, emotional freedom technique. We use yeah. series of tapping. We use um, creative visualization. And ultimately it was the client needing to take their own power back from the situation and to interrupt the pattern of the fear and, and the, the, you know, the, what am I, I can't think of the word right now, the self-fulfilling prophecy that it's not going to work out. And oh my goodness, this is going to happen. I'm not going to get the house. And, you know, I'm going to have my, my reputation is going to be stained for something that I didn't do. And, you know, it was a whole, all of these things. So we had to stop that pattern of the fear, the fear of cycle, the, the cycle of fear going, we had to stop the pattern. And then we had to put in a new suggestion, so I got them to focus on well, what do you want the outcome to be? And what do you really want? Do you really still want the job? Because sometimes when we deep down inside want, we're craving a change and, but we're saying, but I really like what I'm doing, but we craving, we're craving a change. What happens is the energy in your subconscious mind is so powerful that it will create a scenario to get you out of that situation. Even if you're like, but I really like what I do. I don't really want to do this. But deep down inside, when you really get to the nitty gritty of it, you're ready to let it go. You're ready to have a whole new experience. So what happened was my client, um, after a few weeks, I didn't hear from them. And I'm like, oh, goodness, what's going on? You know, but I finally heard from them and they ended up walking away from that position, um, retiring early, got the house, closed on the house and stepped fully into their new career path, which they wanted to do in the first place. And living happy, just so excited and just having a sense of total rebirth and renewal right now. So that's one example of a success story that of one of many that I get to hear my beautiful clients come back and tell me about. Nice. I want to know, like, how would that go with um, manifestation? Because as you were talking, I, I see that as a way to manifest your desire. You're because you're talking about things on, on a subconscious level. I, um, even while you were talking, I'm thinking about when I was working as a classroom teacher. After a while, I didn't like it anymore. I hated going to work. It wasn't so much the children. It was the administration. Mm -hmm. And overall, I would say not just the administration in that school, but the overall system I was wearing me down. And I did not want to go to work. <laughs> like literally, it was a struggle for me to get up to go to work every morning. But I did it for the children. Yep. That was the only thing that got me to go. So I think what happened in my subconscious mind, I probably created a scenario 
that happened that caused me to shift and to change career. And, Absolutely. And then this man, I'm just coming to this realization. Talk <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> would this then too would help like when you have certain situations that are created or happen um would that then help with um manifesting what your heart truly desires absolutely it really does the the thing is is that the the subconscious mind is an emotional mind and it is directly connected to your heart space. That's what a lot of people don't realize, right? So it doesn't matter what you're doing, what we're doing, if we're thinking we should be doing it or it's our duty, right? But deep down the heart knows, right? So when we say the heart knows, the subconscious mind knows it. You can't lie to the subconscious mind <laughs> because every time the truth is going to show up for you and if we the more we resist the more we resist that that shift that's trying to, to happen the harder the anvil falls down on our heads right and so it seems like the whole world is falling apart but really what it is is your the energy in your subconscious mind is setting you up for what you really really want for what you really want to experience so yes you can use that for manifestation. And, and basically this is the foundation of manifestation. Mm. This is the foundation of law of attraction. So this is the deeper side of law of attraction that a lot of people don't really talk about, you know, that, you know, you can do all the affirmations and all of the mantras, which are very, very helpful. You can light all the candles, you can do all the magic, you can do all of that stuff. However, if you are not, if your subconscious mind is not in agreement with the conscious mind, it's just not going to happen, you know? So for example, if I'm, if I'm wanting to make a million dollars, right? I've never made a million dollars before, right? So if I'm all of a sudden saying, you know what? I want to be a millionaire. However, my subconscious mind knows that the most money we've ever made is like $250,000 a year, okay? That's easy to make because it's been made before. But when we're trying to, you know, create and expand and go bigger and do something we've never done before, all the resistance shows up to protect us because it's the fear of the unknown. What do I have to do to actually make a, a million dollars? Does that mean I have to do more work? Does that mean I have less time for myself? Does that mean um, I'm not going to get enough sleep? Does that mean I won't be able to see my family as much? Are people going to think I'm think that I think I'm better than them? Am I going to lose friends? Am I going to, you know, all of these things start to come up sometimes unconsciously. Sometimes you're not even aware that it's there, but the subconscious mind knows. So it's trying to protect us from you know, going to the other side and possibly losing everything because the ultimate fear is the fear of, of loss, the fear of death, right? So it, it works kind of twofold, right? It works kind of double, it's like a double-edged sword almost. So yes, one part of you is trying to continue doing the thing that you think you're supposed to be doing, but ultimately your heart and your subconscious mind knows that you really want to get out of this job so it's going to create a way for you to get out of it. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of that, I want something I've never had before. And I really don't know what I got to do to get it. And I'm kind of scared of what I may have to let go of, who I may need to let go of to get to the other side of that. So your subconscious mind will also protect you from that as well. So it will throw obstacles in your path. It will make you less motivated. You'll get an idea and then all of a sudden you just stop doing it. And you're like, why can't I get this start? I really, really, really want this. But you have to get your subconscious mind on board with the conscious thought of what you desire. Mm. Because it's just, its job is to keep you safe and to make sure that you are not going to get hurt. Even if you're in, a, even if you're currently in a situation that is toxic for you, but if it's the known association, its job is to keep you with the energy that you're already familiar with, because if you're not familiar with it, then 
you have to do a lot of work to break through those barriers, but you can. The, the Using hypnosis and hypnotherapy is the way to unlock the gate so that you can get to the other side. Yeah. Um, comfort zone is coming up while you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting out of our comfort zone and taking ourselves out of the way. Yeah, while, you're, while you were talking, that's what was coming up in my mind. And that's exactly what it is. The comfort zone. It's the comfort zone. And this is the crazy thing. You know, a lot of people don't realize that you can be comfortable in pain. Mm -hmm. You can be comfortable in poverty. Yep. You can be comfortable, you know, overweight because it's easy to just kind of stay there, you know, because it takes the work to retrain the brain to have a different uh, mindset and to also have a different behavior pattern that's going to help you move to the other side. Yeah. A lot of times people use that as a crutch too. They know like dealing with uh, illness or um, even unhealthy um, patterns in their life or toxic patterns, as you mentioned before, they use that as a crutch in instead of um, helping themselves to improve their health. They use yeah. that as a crutch instead of um, changing the pattern. So absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's, it's the homeostasis It's the, the mind, you know, wants to remain in home homeostasis. It wants to keep us in a place that is familiar and safe. Mm -hmm. And even if it's really not that safe for us, because we don't know anything else or because we have fallen into the pattern for so long, um, it's just really difficult to shake it and, and come out of it. Even people who want to do it, you know, they'll try and then they're like, all right, I messed up. Okay. I, you know what? I'll do this another time. I just don't have time for it right now. You know? Um, and then you have some people who are just complacent. They've given up on themselves, you know? Um, and, and part of the reason why I'm, I'm so passionate about educating people for free about it, you know, um, is because I want people to understand that there is always a way out. Your behaviors are unfixed trait, mm -hmm. which means it can be changed. So there's some things that are fixed, like your skin color, you know, um, your, your IQ, you know, though there's certain certain things you just can't change your bloodline, right? Those are unfixed. However, your behaviors, your emotions, those are unfixed. You can change that. You can shift that. And most people don't do it simply for lack of education. They just don't know. Mm. They don't understand how the mind works. They don't understand the amount of power that they actually have within themselves. So they just don't do anything about it. But once people start hearing it, it's like the light bulbs go off and they're like, oh, wait, oh, that's what, oh, that's what that is. And that's the type of light that I like to see happen inside of people. Because once you, once you know something, it's really hard to keep doing the opposite. You know what I mean? Because once you know better, you tend to want to do better. Yes. So that's, that's the, that's the goal. <laughs> yes, I love this. You definitely, it could help with um, erasing or not erasing, but to change the pattern, especially in generational trauma. Yes. So you don't pass the same thing on to the next generation. So the work you're doing is so important. It really is. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, and opening up my eyes to so many different possibilities, things I never thought of before. Mm. So this is very enlightening for me. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> that's my goal. That's my, that's my, my dream is, is just to help, you know, help bring people to the awareness of it. And when you mentioned generational traumas, I also work um, with I work with bloodline clearing and also ancestral healing as well. I like that. Um, because if you if you look at epigenetics, epigenetics tells us that you know we can hold a trait or a, a thought pattern or a, a, be, a leave a belief system or a behavior that is like from seven grandmothers down the line, right? So sometimes some of the stuff that we're dealing with is not even ours. Mm -hmm. 
you know, um, we're carrying over belief systems from generations past, but there is, that's also something that can be changed yeah. because you can shift your pattern of thought. You can shift your behavior. You can even shift your, your health. What we say, oh, it's genetic, you know, it, it, you know, um, heart disease is, is it runs in my family, but you can change that because it's energy and, and energy can be transformed and transmuted. Yeah. So if you are constantly putting yourself in an environment where your main goal is to release or to shift and change that energy, that belief, because that's a belief system that is passed down through the, the blood, right? Because our family tells us that, well, you know, great grandma had uh, diabetes too. So mm -hmm. you probably going to get it too, you know, but that's a suggestion. And if you hear that suggestion enough times, you start to believe it as well. And whatever your subconscious mind believes, the body must follow. Yes. So if we are, if we're working on clearing those old belief systems from our bloodline and also healing the ancestral line as well, you can do that in hypnosis. You can do that through, you know, deep meditation or what ritual or what have you. Um, when we're doing that, we're clearing out the old belief. We're clearing out the old energy and we're saying, no, mm, not anymore. It stops here. Stops here. So it's all, all of it can be changed. And that's the beauty of it. Yes, that is. That's a beautiful thing that we're able to, we have the power within ourselves because we don't realize how powerful we are as um, individuals, as beings. And you have that, that energy, you have that, that power to then transform whatever you want your life and shape it into the life you want it to be. We don't realize we have that power. Yep. We absolutely do. Mm -hmm. We absolutely do. Yes. I'm so excited. When I found out that you were featured in Oprah Winfrey, I'm, I'm, I'm shifting the gears a bit. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I was so excited to, to find out that you were featured on Oprah Winfrey's network um, about um, the documentary they did on Dark Girls 2. So can you tell us a little about that experience? And... Yeah. Um, how was that for you? It was an honor to be a part of that project. Um, the the uh, director and creator of Dark Girls 2, um, D. Chansonberry, he um, connected with me through the Hypnosis Motivation Institute. The director of the, of the college um, referred me to him. He was looking for a, a female African-American hypnotherapist and um, we connected and it was amazing. It was, it was a beautiful um, experience and one that I will always, always uh, think about and will stay with my heart forever because one of my missions on this planet is to make sure that people of color, Black folks, understand this power, understand the power that we wield, right? Um, and especially as it relates to uh, black women with dark, dark skin um, and even women with light skin, too, because there is so much um, belief around what our skin tone is and, you know, how we're treated differently and everything. And the best way to deal with that is to deal with your own belief systems around it to deal with the traumas that you have around it, to release that, to let it go, to replace it with a new belief system that, you know, I am beautiful no matter what skin I am in. Mm -hmm. And that takes time. It takes time to, to retrain the brain. It takes time to move into that belief system, um, and, you know, and change the whole trajectory of your thought patterns around that. And so it was amazing. It was, it was a beautiful experience. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have been a part of it. I'm happy to have, uh, have that platform that reached so many people so that people could know that that was, that's an option. You know, hypnotherapy is actually an option to help deal with any 
self-love issues I might have as it relates to my skin tone. Exactly. Definitely. So can you tell us any other projects you're currently working on at the moment? (laughs) Yes, absolutely. So I am, I run a program, it's an eight week program called the Be Magic Manifestation Program. And we're getting ready to start our fifth cycle in January of 2021. So this is, this program helps people identify their truest heart's desire, what we just got finished talking about, um, and to help them make it one of their main goals. And since we identify something that we've never done before and it brings up all of this resistance, the program is designed to help you fine tune your goal, identify it, and then you're equipped with tools to help you break through the resistance that's going to show up and break through some of the thought patterns that have kept you from doing that thing. There's also a companion workbook uh, that comes along with it, and that will be released on Amazon probably in the next couple of weeks, and um, it will be available for sale. If you join the program, you get the ebook for free. So the book is called the Be Magic Manifestation Workbook. And if, if you wanna do self-study, you can just purchase the workbook from Amazon. And if you want to join the class and have, you know, some accountability partners, I'm there live teaching the class and coaching one-on-one with uh, the participants. And it's a really beautiful program. I love it. Nice. I love that. So um, this is this has to do with the book that you recently wrote or is this something separate? Okay. Oh, it is that. It is that. So the, the, the coaching program turned into a book. Oh. And um, so the book, like I said, can be used as a self-study guide um, for people who, you know, just want to do it on their own. And you get the, it's a companion to the coaching program, which goes the program goes a little bit more in depth, of course, because we're working together in a classroom setting online. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm really excited about it. And it is so it's such a is such a profound way to recondition and reprogram your mind. And it's, again, there's all of these light bulb moments that happen, you know, throughout the whole, the whole course when I'm watching people bloom and blossom and doing things that, you know, they never thought that they would do. Yes. Well, I had light bulbs going off right now. <laughs> During the short time we spoke, so I could just imagine what the experience would be in your um your class. Definitely, yes. really changing lives, and um, really, I see like breaking like shackles and bonds that are stopping us from living to our greatest potential. Absolutely. Yes. And that's really what it's all about is breaking the chains of your mind. You know, the mind is, is where it is, where everything starts. You know, all is mind. The universal, the universe is mental. That's the first hermetic principle. Yes. The you know? <laughs> yes. yes. The Kabbalion. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's it, once we, and under, and my, my, I'm always like driving this home, driving this home, like study the mind, understand mm-hmm. how the mind works study energy, understand how energy works. When you understand those two things, you kind of, you kind of figured it out. You know what I mean? Because everything falls under that. Like everything that we do comes under your, your mind energy, mental energy comes underneath that. And when you understand how to manipulate those things, then you, there's not anything that you cannot overcome. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Shara, for coming on today. I really appreciate you. Um, Can you let the audience know where they could reach you, um, where they could purchase your book? I know you said Amazon, but I don't know if you have any other places. So just let just let the audience know where they could reach you if they want to have a consultation with you or even to um, join your class. Absolutely. You can visit opendoorhypnosis.com 
and to schedule a free phone consultation with me, you'll just uh, click on book a free phone consultation at the very top of the web page. And we'll be able to connect and discuss the ways in which you may want to use uh, hypnotherapy or some of the other services that I offer to assist you. Um, but you can also connect with me on my website, opendoorhypnosis.com to get more information about that. Uh, you can also join my Facebook group, Manifesting Success with Mind Magic. I'm always giving free classes in there and giving updates on, on everything that's going on in open door hypnosis. Nice. And I always ask my guests this, do you have any lasting words that you want to leave with the audience today? Yes. Remember that it's not you, it's your programming and you and only you are the key to a new you. Yes. I love that. Thank you so much, Shara Prophet, for coming on my show today. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to enlighten the audience and to share some new knowledge about hypnosis and hypnotherapy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Keisha, for having me. And thank you for doing what you do and allowing you know, people like me to come on this space and share what we do. Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank yes, you. it is. <laughs> I would like to thank our guest, Shara Prophet. I learned so much about the power of the mind today and the unlimited possibilities that could be obtained through a positive mindset. And a special thank you to you, my subscribers. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, share, and leave a comment down below letting me know how you enjoyed today's episode holistic health and much abundance to you. See you next week.